Merry Christmas, everybody. Well, man, Wes here, and welcome to an added bonus after the 24 beers of Christmas from Lodi Tab House. Obviously, it's been a while since we've done these, but we have from Obscurity Brewing their four pack of Island of Misfit beers. Got four different styles, roughly ranging from about the four to five percent. Well, much like some of the original What's Your Poison episodes, we gotta start with round number one. So for round one, we have Scooter for Jimmy. This is a pale ale with holiday cheer. I know Hefe and I have made some jokes in the past about what exactly is holiday cheer. Maybe it's the feeling that you get after you've had one of these, and you know, sometimes they're good, some of them have not been good. But we will be the judge on these today. Doesn't really say what type of hops are in this one, but I do love the artwork on these cans. I mean, Scooter for Jimmy, it kind of reminds me of Plank from Ed Ed Nenny. So wouldn't that mean it'd be a Scooter or Plank for Johnny? But yeah, I digress. It is time to open this up and pour it into our Holly Jolly mug for the day. Okay, this has got a golden color. So my guess is this is gonna be more towards a West Coast just judging by how it's looking in the glass. Yep, uh, definitely getting that West Coast style. I mean, definitely some Citra hop in there. Mm. Mm. I mean, it is very, uh, very dank. So yeah, we're getting a lot of Citra on that one, so. Not incredibly hoppy. I mean, it is, but it's uh, it's very light. This is definitely a light IPA. I wouldn't say it's like amazing, but I mean, it is. It, it's tasty. I mean, I could probably drink this throughout the night, and it's standard IPA, definitely. So nice, you know. We're gonna go with that. All right, so we have one down. And we have three to go. So I'm gonna finish this as quick as possible and we're gonna move on to the next round. Okay, so for round number two, we have Donner. This is a vanilla golden ale with holiday cheer. It is 5%. I know I said earlier it's between four and 5%, but I misread, they're all 5%. Very similar to a lot of the other Island of Misfit beer four packs that we've had in the past. I do enjoy a good vanilla ale or cream ale, and you know, we'll see what happens in this one. Oh, definitely has that light color. Definitely looking like a cream ale. Almost kind of reminds me of a little bit of like a cream soda just from the consistency here. Ooh, yeah. That is a nice sweet vanilla. Oh, yeah. Mmm, yep, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Naughty, naughty in a good way. This is a very naughty beer because sometimes vanilla ales and vanilla cream ales, they don't get it just right. Sometimes they make it too sweet. This one, you get the malt, you get the vanilla, so I mean, it's, it's very dry. And that's a good thing because you don't want it to be too, too sweet because, you know, when you have a lot of beers that are too sweet, I mean, I'm sure you'd have a ghost up there probably saying, And I've had diabetes for about 20 years. So you get my meaning on that one. Well, I'm going to pound this one down and we're going to move on to beer number three. All right, so now we have round three. We have a familiar in the group, probably from... The first four pack of Island Misfit beers that we reviewed on this channel, we have Yukon Cornelius. This is a maple amber ale. We loved this one. And you know something? I have a feeling we're going to love it again. Some people might go, wait a minute, if it's already been in a four pack, isn't this just kind of a repeat? Well, that may be. However, it was great the first time around, and it's nice to relive. So, we're going to open this up. Nice, 
nice light body texture. Slightly brown color. Hmm. Okay. The first time around, the maple was very prevalent on a drive-by. On a three sniff, you're getting it a lot more. So this might be a different style of it, but well, here we go. Yup, nice, 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 nice. I mean, it's a little different. I mean, this one, the maple is there. Yep, yeah, very there. Actually, the, the aftertaste, I'm, it's almost as if I'm, like my lips are getting coated with maple syrup and I'm just like, I can't talk right now. I, mean, I got a pancake, pancake. But no, seriously, I mean, it's light. I mean, it's not sugary sweet, but man. Mm. Lumberjack's nightcap. I like that. Well, I'm going to sip on this and savor it a bit. But we will be back for our fourth and final round coming up soon. Now for our fourth and final round, we have Santa and Mrs. Claus Milk Stout. Okay, before we get into this, I need to preface something. Uh, well, not that, but you get the idea. When we had our first four pack of Island of Misfit beers on this channel, Santa was very, very naughty to us. It was pretty much a beer with chocolate and there was peppermint in there at some point. It just, it, it, it was sad Christmas for that beer. Now, for those that don't know, I may have written a letter to Mrs. Claus and told her that Santa kind of dropped the jingle bells on that one. And so she decided she's going to help him this year because sometimes Helping each other out is a great idea, and nobody knows better than Mrs. Claus. That being said, we're going to open this up and hope for the best. Ooh, that is dark. Slightly thick. Oh yeah, good head consistency. Here we go. I am nervous. I hope, I hope Mrs. Claus took my advice seriously because Santa really roughed up a few years ago and I want to make sure that he redeems himself this year. Very dark and malty. Not getting a lot of notes on this one, so... <laughs> They redeem themselves. It's, it's nice. It's not big, big nice, but they did redeem themselves. Honestly, it, it kind of it, it tastes like chocolate milk a little bit, but not as like boom. It's just it does taste kind of like a standard chocolate milk stuff, and nothing wrong with that. The reason why is because. Mrs. Claus made sure that Santa did not mess up this batch. Well, we hope you enjoyed this review of the Island of Misfit Beers from Obscurity Brewing. Leave a thumbs up if you liked it. If you don't agree with some of the things I said about these beers, you can leave a thumbs down. I totally get it. Also, make sure, share on social media, push that little red button, ring that bell for notifications. Also, make sure you check out Hefe Wise and stuff on Beer You Beer Me. I have always loved his stuff. And I tell you what, if it weren't for him bringing up the idea about doing beer reviews back in a couple of years ago, whew, we wouldn't be here today. And I love you, brother. Thank you for everything. Until then, I'm Wildman West, and stick around for next Sunday.
because 2024 is right around the corner. And it's been a while, but we are going to have a last call. Until then, we'll see you soon. Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays. We love you.